Hi. You know, these are difficult times. God is very good, but we have to be honest and say, you know, these are hard times. Some of us have lost our income. Some of us have lost our jobs. Some of us have friends who have lost even far more precious than that. And you know, Jesus had a moment when he was with people who had had a really difficult time. These were not strangers. These were friends. It was two sisters whose brother Lazarus had died. And what's unique about that story is Jesus goes to their home and Lazarus is already dead and buried. And he knows that he is going to do a miracle. He knows he is going to raise Lazarus to life. And yet, before he does the miracle, Jesus cries. He mourns with them. It seems strange to me that he knows he's going to do a miracle and yet he cries. If I was Jesus and I knew I was going to do that miracle, I'd be more like, I know something you don't know. But Jesus is so connected to their heart, so connected to their pain, that he weeps with them. The Bible says we rejoice with those who rejoice and we mourn with those who mourn. And there can be great comfort in the fact that we have a Lord who is bringing a miracle. But before he does, he weeps with us. Life is not always easy. Life has some really tough moments. But those tough moments, as much as they may impact us, they don't have to define us. Jesus, he defines us. Because he came to these sisters and on one hand, he wept with them because his heart was so connected to them. But on the other hand, he made a statement to them. He said, I am the resurrection and the life. You see, they had been very disappointed because they had asked Jesus to come. And in their minds, his timing was all wrong. Jesus was four days late. They didn't realize Jesus was right on time. And sometimes when we don't know what is going on, we think, wow, God must be late. When God is never late. He's never early either. And sometimes that's frustrating. But what we can take from this passage is that as hard as life can be, as difficult as it can be, those difficulties don't define us because he is the resurrection and the life and he restores us plus. You see it throughout scriptures. You see it in the book of Job. You see it with Lazarus. We get restored plus. For those of you who are having a hard time, for those of you who have suffered loss, take comfort in knowing first that you have a Lord who is weeping over you. He feels your pain. He knows your pain. But also take hope in that you have a Lord who is bringing his miracle to you. He is the resurrection and the life. Have a wonderful day. And as we endure these hardships, let's place our trust in Jesus. God bless you guys.